Easy replacement buffs. All right. Well, I was expecting it today or tomorrow. I'm I'm happy <laughs> that it was in fact today or tomorrow. Of course, they had to release this before the patch, which is already this Wednesday. So not a moment too soon. Uh, so they're starting by apologizing for the delay. Of course, you know, there is a lot of stuff that they were working on, but it is somewhat understandable that it's going to take a minute until they have exactly figured out how the game is going to be different in Korea and in GMS. Uh, maybe she got a little bit of a music, maybe post a BGM, just a little, just a little soft BGM going, just a little meme. Uh, that's the battle music of New Lotus. It's maybe a bit too much. The jazz is maybe a bit much as well. Let's do a little bit of lo-fi. Okie dokie. So, it's really only for the upcoming two, like I expected as well. Yeah, so it should probably only be until like August at best, and then we need another roadmap. So hopefully they're already starting to work on that one, so that one can be on time. Uh, anniversary, Lynn, Maple Island, so that we already saw that on the preview, nothing new there. Meiju, Angelic Buster, that was to be expected. Legion Artifact System, yeah, Epic uh, Dungeon High Mountain. Dreaming Lackaline, that's the general, uh, and Midnight Party, those are like the general summer events, the last winter event in Korea. Hyper Burning and Terra Blink. Uh, quality of life improvements and special event, dot dot dot, what might that be? So the Angelic Buster uh, remaster is being postponed and is confirmed for 251. And special event with Inkwell on there. So maybe another special Inkwell thing. Okay. Uh, anniversary event, May 11th. Oh, 11th. Yeah, I always forget today. It's crazy to have been on this adventure with all of you for 19 years. Celebrate with special events as a thank you for being part of this community. So be on the lookout for some sneak peeks. Okay. Uh, Lynn is finally here. Lynn is a magician that uses the memorial staff weapon. Oh, they're all of the scepters. That's what it's called now, right? Scepter. Well, this is going to be changed to memorial staffs. Uh, the power of the forest to summon spirit guys, help her defeat her enemies. Well, she can do strong damage with a spirit guide skill. She also has a variety of healing skills, a lot of healing, and buffs to help her party. So she will be very helpful as a support, except there's a lot of stuff in this game where there is healing limitation or 100% blocked. So I wonder if there's still going to be like partial healing coming through for Lin. Because there are some things like Demon Avenger, because of, you know, the problems with their HP, there are some areas where your self-healing actually does break through and breaks the rules of the of the map, of the healing, like in Hard Hilla and stuff like that, and in, uh, uh, and in Hard Will. I wonder if she's going to be so specifically made as a healer. We didn't see mention of that in the other regions, but I wonder if the for certain content allow her to block a little bit through the healing reduction because I feel like if you don't then you're cutting off a huge part of the character's kit but we'll see uh, so a, since players have been asking yes she will be released on the day of the v250 update we know many of you are curious about the conversion details from beast tamer to lin please wait until the patch notes have been released as it states all the information related to the topic okay that was to be expected as well welcome to maple island I have been in Maple because it's occurring in May and not Maypril Island like I was in Korea because there it uh, started in April. Maple Island is a place that was created from the sparkling memories of Maplers. Meet those from your memories and receive abundant gifts by filling the wish orb that contains the dreams and hopes of people. Uh, big event skill with the big extra buffs compared to last year. The more you fill the wish orb, the better the rewards you'll receive. Plus, there will be fun mini games, photo booths, popularity contests, and other unique experiences throughout the event, including a museum exhibit where you can win OG maple items. Don't miss out and experience them all. Okay, so that's all we already knew. Then a little bit more new information. Angelic Buster Remaster, our queen of music, Angelic Buster, has blessed us with her return. In addition to her new look that is cuter and lovelier than ever, check out the newly changed skills. She's also releasing her first mini album for you loyal fans. With uh, Hopefully all of those videos are going to be up and not uh, privated online. 
Uh, so you better see Angelic Buster as one of your top list uh, listen to artists in your 2024 wrapped. I don't think so. Uh, Legion Artifact after Monster Life ends. A new growth system called Legion Artifact will be included. Through various gameplay, players can naturally complete the missions and get time-limited stats that can be applied to all characters, introducing a new integrated character growth system. So it doesn't seem like that's going to be any different from what it is in Korea, so you can already start priming that, or probably have already started priming that, when we got the news about six months ago. Uh, well, I guess more like five, a little under four and a half to five months ago, about what that system is going to look like uh, for this summer. Uh, Epic Legend High Mountain. So it's all going to be in version 251. Um, do I read this as that they're only going to do one patch? They typically do two patches in summer. There might be like a 251 point something and 251 point something. I don't think this is all going to be available immediately on the day of 251. So there will probably be more details with patch notes here, I'm guessing. Uh, choosing the Map Store's first epic dungeon for characters level 260 and above. Dive into the story of the awakened sun god Mitra was returned to the high mountain. Even though it says it's a dungeon though, it's solo. Uh, Would have been cool to be a party dungeon, but nope. Uh, return to the high mountain after long slumber, defeat numerous enemies and get plenty of EXP and rewards. Basically, you just charge up points for killing monsters and you'll be able to tr transform into the sun god Mitra and or use special skills from him to clear the map and kind of speed run the dungeon. In non-reboot, as far as we're aware, in Korea, they have the ability to buy a booster for their rewards up to 5x or 10x even. Uh, and one of the rewards, at least in Korea, introduced the special coins that you can then sell for maple points to NPCs and get a lot of mezzos for. And that was like one of the ways that in KMS they were gonna get the money back that they lost of the original multiplier so it is possible that the rewards and those kind of multipliers and that whole coin system that that whole thing is not coming for um for gms that's what i'm expecting but i guess we'll see more details once the patch notes come around um then dreaming lackaline we invite you to lucid's happy dream this is just the name of the event aren't you curious about lucid's dream festival that isn't a nightmare but something everyone can enjoy not only can you get loads of exp but there's a special reward shop there is loads of exp it's like this is something like 120 150 thousand exp tickets or something yeah it's a lot uh and content and minigames for rapid leveling waiting for you explore all the exciting and special events that lucid has prepared i'm not gonna go into all of the details here but if you check the exclamation mark events command in the chat you'll see the event calendar there and you'll also see all of the uh, upcoming patches already with links with the videos and with the times and the dates uh, on when all of that stuff is going to get released for us so if you want a refresher or you want more details definitely check out those videos and you'll be able to see much better there all of the stuff that's coming in way greater detail, you know, like what are, what's going to be in the event shops, what's uh, going to be the, the quests, how expensive is it going to be to level up the, the event skill, that kind of stuff. All in there. Um, and then Midnight Party. Welcome to Midnight Party. It's not a real party without goodies, so participate in daily and weekly parties by defeating monsters to earn unique rewards, such as custom Lachlan outfits and backgrounds. After you're done partying, you can earn your very own Lucid Roy to accompany you on all your future endeavors. And this is also the first event where just by doing the dailies and the weeklies and the logins and stuff, you'll get the Fairy Heart, I believe with the Lucid Roy, uh, at least in Korea they did, as a reward. Just from that, and you don't have to buy it specifically from the Mezzo Shop, so that isn't going to cost you extra money. So we'll see in the patch notes, of course, if that's going to be exactly the same for Korea as it is, uh, as it was, uh, for for us as it was in Korea. I mean, sorry. A burning a Terra Blink, uh, Hyper Burning, nothing new. Spiegelmann prepared a special map this time for Hyper Burning called Terra Blink. If you're designated as a Hyper Burning character, you'll be 200 with the blink of an eye in Spiegelmann's world inside the hat. Helpful rewards will be given every time you complete missions to help you progress even faster. So if you haven't leveled your Legion yet, take this chance. Uh, yeah, you level... when What you already thought was fast before, it's going to be even faster. Basically, you're going to be in that level up map. Remember when you had like the level up 7 characters to level 100, right? Like the 0 to 100? It's basically that, but for up to level 200 for the Hyper Burns. You're just gonna 
B200 in no time and into your, yeah, even if you're completely new, completely fresh account and you're just doing hyperburn, you're very realistically going to be able to get to 260 before the end of the event, yeah. With very minimal, you know, not like hardcore grinding and all that. Quality of life improvements, we've got the character presets, equipment presets have been added, ability presets have been added, uh, the cost to change hyper, ability presets has been removed. The default Legion preset slots are now all permanent and will increase to five. I have mentioned and I, I'm not expecting it, but I hope in the future we can also get familiar presets connected to that and hopefully also get all of the familiar presets permanently open. Because and most of you probably in late game have at least like a mobbing setup, a bossing setup, and then maybe a healing setup as well. Having to constantly switch your familiars around every single time you do different bosses is incredibly annoying. So I'm hoping that that could be connected as well to the presets. As well as um, there's stuff in Korea that hasn't even been added to this, but like keyboard presets has not been added to character presets in Korea either, which could be nice. And hyperstat presets also. Uh, sorry, not hyper step presets, hyper skill, so passive hyper skill presets have also not been added. I hope that those will be added in the future so you can have a fully, uh, all including one button you press, boom, you're in mobbing setup. One button you press, boom, you're completely in a bossing preset. And since we'll have three inner abilities, you'll be able to specifically make one for mobbing, one for bossing, and maybe a separate one just opening boxes, for example, to get the drop rate main line. But most people's mobbing inner abilities will probably be drop and then mezzo and then um as a third probably damage to normal monsters or buff duration if you need that you know that kind of stuff um what i do want to say with all of this is extra inner abilities yeah it's going to cost a bunch of extra honor exp but in uh and it doesn't have the detail here but definitely check the detail of the legion artifact system if you're completely unfamiliar with that system basically this is for non-reboot this is replacing monster life but for reboot this is replacing half of our final damage on our passive for reboot so half of that damage is now going to come from legion artifact system instead a lot of this includes a big chunk of critical rate and the big chunk of critical rate is basically going to make it so that every class, as far as I know, except for archers, is not going to want inner ability critical rate at all anymore. So with any upcoming 5, 10, 15s, uh, sorry, uh, sunny Sundays with inner ability, I would advise to like either not touch that at all yet, if you're not familiar with what your best in slot inner abilities are going to be, uh, or investigate that first and then only and then only then work hard on your inner ability if you're trying to min max because it'd be a big shame if you try to like min max your inner ability right now spend a bunch of your honor and then get access to extra inner abilities and not need the crit anymore and then have to redo it all over again right so be smart with that it's always going to be a mid to long term investment in your inner ability to so make sure you know long term how it's going to change so check your class discords check all the information check out the videos that i did on it as well uh specifically on the the summer update right on the dreamer update and uh make sure you have all of the information there available and if you're unsure inner ability events do come around every once in a while so it's okay to skip one and then just make sure you have all of the information for the next one right because they did announce during the cm stream that there is at least one inner ability uh reset coming in the upcoming anniversary event uh boss ui you can now view character info in the party recruitment tab exclusive ui for accessing bosses has been added you can now set combat power as a condition in the party recruitment tab monster park extreme has been added to the boss ui that's more like yeah quality of life stuff boss entry limit entry limit for all weekly and monthly bosses has been removed this is really nice if you want to do a lot of practice but also if you you know you just want to like ram your head against it and you think there's a chance you know you don't want to go into practice mode and then maybe clear it and then not have a clear count, you know? Uh, of course, is this, they add monthly here, make sure Black Mage, if you do re a lot of real runs, that's gonna eat into your keys. So make sure you're doing a lot of Vihela if you wanna do a lot of practice runs, real practice runs for, um, real practice runs, pr practice real runs. <laughs> I don't know how to say it probably. Um, but do that for Black Mage, that's gonna eat into your keys like back in the olden days when we didn't even have practice mode. So be careful with that. Uh, the daily limit for Balrog has been removed. The quest requirements to unlock Lotus and Damien have been removed as long as you meet the level requirement. Oh, that's when that's coming. Okay. So that's in 251. So you don't have to do the super long quest lines at all anymore. Uh, both of those will just unlock at level. 
And then practice mode exclusive buffs have been added. Uh, again, there's a lot of details on the videos, but basically buffs that you can have access to, like G skills, like uh, big boss potions, all of that stuff. If you do practice mode, you can go into the boss with those buffs on, and you basically will have just practice mode versions of the skill as a buff. And then as soon as you exit, they'll be removed again. But you can then practice what it would be like to have those skills in the boss fight without actually having to consume them and put them on cooldown and everything. So this is really useful if you're trying to do new bosses or see if you're big enough or want to know the timer of a, of a new boss without actually committing all of your buffs to it. Maybe you just want to do one or two bursts and see how much you know percent damage you can take off the boss to see if it's even realistic for you to clear it without having to put everything on cooldown. So that's a lot of uh, quality of life. I think very useful for people who wanna you know, push the envelope of their character and see what the limits of their character are. Uh, a few matrix improvements open multiple nodes and you can easily enhance all of your equipped nodes by enhancing multiple nodes at once as well. I don't know, this probably should have been a feature from day one, but you know, we're seven years in and here we go. Now we can actually open multiple nodes at once. Uh, I think this also comes with uh, opening multiple honor uh honor medals at once and just double click boom opening those all um but yeah there's of course a bunch of stuff that's not specifically mentioned here there's a lot more than that was mentioned here and then the special event let's see what that is inkwell and dr lim are preparing a special event for all of you please stay tuned for more details Ooh, they're being very vague we hope you're excited by this high level view of the content and events arriving oh that's actually all they're saying that there's going to be a special event all right, well, that's definitely something that KMS does not have, and it's something that's going to be completely exclusive to us. So that's the uh, the most interesting thing there. I mean, at least for me, that's the newest, the, the one big new thing. And then the confirmation, of course, of the Angelic Buster being part of 251 and not part of 250. Um, as always, our goal with these roadmaps is to provide information that players may be curious about and assist players with advanced preparation. Please keep in mind that there is more content on the way in addition to the list of uh, those listed above so we advise players to refer to the update preview patch uh, sorry post and patch notes f post for the finalized details for every game update thank you Mjolnir and the Maple Story team written by Jay okay so yeah what do you guys think the special event is gonna be I mean it's gonna be some cool extra stuff we already got the special rewards maybe they'll uh, give us some more to to shut us up you know <laughs> See if you can uh, stop supporting Nero if they just give us more free stuff. Wait, so that's Inkwell and Doctor Lim. Oh, okay. Where was this guy connected to? You've seen this NPC before. God, I don't remember what he was connected to. Gonna hit us up with the goods. Is there any updates on six job? For Korea for the summer? Not yet, but I think that's coming. Is that this week? No, they've got anniversary event first. So that's probably like six, five, six weeks away. Then for Balrog was removed, so that's all I need to know. Yeah, that's basically what we're all looking for. Grandest fans, what's up with that? <laughs> That'll be the ace up their sleeves that they need to do if they want to stop everyone from uh, quitting the game. 251 would be Dreamer. Yeah. So if you check exclamation mark events, you can already see the event calendar and the currently, what are we, like 29th. So this week is already over. Hide row. Boop. We see the last events here, and then you have the video here for the first anniversary event for Korea if you want more details, and the second part of the anniversary event if you want more details. And then Dreamer has three updates in Korea, so here's part one, part two, and part three as well for the live versions if you want more details on dungeons and everything. Remember though, our client is gonna start diverging a lot with Dreamer. 
from Korea. So anything that specifically mentions Mezzo, how to make Mezzo and multipliers and that kind of stuff for reboot servers, that's gonna definitely be very different for us. So that's why I'm also saying for the height mountain dungeon, I'm not expecting those coins, you know, that we sell for maple points and everything to be included in that because that was extra mezzo that they needed to compensate for the mezzo lost on the multiplier for drops, for crystals and for just regular, uh, regular monsters killed. So that part is probably going to get taken out if I, uh, by my expectations. Was he in the old FM? Dr. Lim is based on the former KMS art director, Kwang Hyun Lim. Yeah, I, I, I imagine that, but I, I've seen the NPC before. I thought maybe there would be a hint on what the NPC was connected to before that could give us an idea on what the event would be, but, but maybe, maybe not at all. They didn't mention the final damage changes. You think it's possible we get the artifact system and keep our FD? Um, this is why they invented commas, Richard. You just said eat crap to everyone. Eat crap, web fab, nap, repeat. <laughs> Punctuation is a wonderful thing. Eat comma, crap. I know what I said. Yeah, I know you know what you said. Thanks for the two years, Richard. Um... It's po Is it possible? Uh, I guess so, but I would say like less than 5% chance for that. Uh, yeah, they didn't mention specifically reboot final damage changes. That's true. Reboot passive changes. That is true. Uh, yeah, but High Mountain in Korea also had extra fragments. That's also why it's a uh, nice bonus content. However, we've been having a daily that gives us extra fragments that Korea never had, so I don't know if we're going to get that, the same thing, right? Is there a blank only for the characters you choose to hyperburn? From the description, yeah. From I don't remember 100% from the from the event, because this has been like six months ago, or like five months ago. I don't remember exactly if that was the case in Korea as well, but that's how I read it in the thing, yeah. Is LinkedIn suggests it still works there? He still works there? Yeah, Inkwell does as well, from what I understand. They mentioned leveling over Legion, but it's only one character. Yeah. I, th I thought Blink was... Ugh. I did think it was only for one character, though, but... Yeah, we should double, uh, we'll double check on it once we see the patch notes. I'll definitely double check it with, uh, we'll get those answers. So in, well, in two days we'll have the anniversary uh, patch notes, but then we should get the patch notes by June 11th, hopefully, for Dreamer. So then we can have true answers to those questions. So yeah, let me know if you're excited and let me know what you think about the special event, what that could be. They're really called special event. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I'm uh, kind of drawing a blank. I don't know what it'll be. I'd probably just some login or collect certain stuff or maybe some community participation kind of stuff for like a bunch of prizes, something like that. It's possible. I think they're trying to do that more. They're trying to do that in Korea now as well, right? Remember with those item giveaways and with the hardware giveaways and everything? Maybe they're doing more um, IRL collaboration, stuff like that. Cosplaying, maybe, maybe stuff like that. Who knows? Uh, yeah, no, VecPats and anything that's connected specifically, like cube sale and DMT, like, uh, or MMT, stuff like that that's specifically cash up related, that'll always just be relegated to Wednesday notes on the website, which will be the patch, the, the cash up update, weekly cash up update. That's always on Wednesdays. So for that kind of stuff, always keep an eye on the website. And as soon as it hits Wednesday, uh, early, early PST day on Wednesday. That's when you should be able to see those stuff, those things. All right, let me what you think. And um, preach that this Wednesday will be a good patch day. Remember though, game will be down for like seven, eight hours probably. I'm guessing around seven. So don't count on that day too much for weeklies, weekly bosses, that kind of stuff, okay? You, you are warned. Okay, uh, thanks for checking out the video. 
see you in the next one